So from South Carolina, I slowly made my way down into Florida and got to check out some cool spots. San Augustine, drove down the beach in Daytona and just arrived at a spot someone recommended, which was Jonathan Dickinson State Park. And it's almost Christmas time, so Tyler, who I met up in North Carolina, is here for Christmas. He just met up with me out here and they just opened up a new trail called Bunker Hill, so we're excited to check this place out. Kid rips. Future Penner. So we're down here in beautiful Vero Beach and Tyler's father-in-law, Mike, was nice enough to take us out on the Indian River today. We're in a spot called the Estuary, which is a residential area in the Indian River Lagoon. We're looking for tarpon, snook, and trout. We have Captain Tyler on the boat. Yep. Seasoned charter captain from Naples, Florida. Worked as a charter guide full-time for five years, something like that. See if I remember anything. A little line cider. Oh yeah. It's a snook right there. North American snaggletooth snapper. It's productive. Snook fest. Mangrove snappers, sea trout, quite a few snook. Oh, these are redfish. River slam. That's right. But still got bait. Still sunny. Still water in the ocean. Might find one. You said they live under that Christmas wreath over there? There should be one right under the wreath. It's quite possible. Let's see it. I just want you to take a look at this boat. It's called Party Girl. And it looks like she's been partying. She's on her side. She's a little, a little off tilt there on the left. All right, let's see if I... Uh, You're on TV, man. Drag one out of there. Let's see what Santa's going to bring from this wreath. Oh, no way! <laughs> Dude, look what Santa just brought me. Oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Thank you, Santa. That's right. Merry Christmas. About to head offshore here. And Vera Beach, heading down to Fort Pierce, crawl through the inlet, drag some lures, see if we can find some chewers, and uh, I don't know, we're gonna go uh, mahi fishing, see if we can pick up some uh, bonita on uh, one of the markers, some live bait, and maybe drag them for sales. Should be a good day, it's nice out, seas are calm, good company. Um, I'm not good at getting these things out. One rig belly hoop, ready to go, we gotta squeeze the hoop out of them. Oh, 
got something there. That's what you want to get a picture of. Yeah, super good times. Great family. They were very nice to have me hang out for a couple of days. And now it's Christmas Eve, so I'm going to start making my way down to the Keys and probably spend Christmas maybe in Key West. So, yeah, keeping things rolling. Country road. So after a couple of epic days just cruising around, checking out the sights in Key West, I made my way up and around and into the Everglades where I took a quick boat tour, saw some of the wildlife, rode my motorcycle around. Epic way to end 2018 and woke up this morning, January 1st, and made my way up to Miami and just found an epic pump track right on the beach. So from the pump track in Miami Beach, I just made my way up about 45 minutes north, still in southern Florida to Markham Park, and this is in the town of Sunrise. Supposedly it's one of the best mountain bike spots in southern Florida, so just met up with some of the locals and they're gonna show me this place. What's up guys, I'm Logan. Uh, we're some locals around here and we're just gonna show Andrew the uh, all the cool spots of Markham. And what's really cool about Markham is that it used to be a mine, so there's a lot of um, like elevation and stuff that we use to uh, build out here and when we make the jumps and stuff, so it's just really cool and it makes it unique for Florida since everything's flat here. I think I've been in Florida for about three weeks enjoying this place way too much. So finally making my way north from Markham and arrived at Alafaya this morning. What's up, I'm Ryan, one of the local riders here showing Chris, Titus, and Andrew around today. Trails are pretty sweet. It's not like anything most people have ever ridden. Got a lot of up and down, technical, punchy climbs. Um, but it's really fun and flowy with a lot of berms and jumps, so it makes it a good time.
Alright, so after a super epic day out at Alafaya yesterday and a few solid weeks just kicking around Florida enjoying it, I finally made my way up north to my last stop here and just arrived at Vortex, which is a trail system right outside of Santos, and this place looks amazing. It sounds like it's been one of the longest going free ride spots in Florida. Unfortunately, it did get hit with a ton of rain last night, so a lot of the bigger jumps are covered with tarps right now, but it's not gonna stop me from just cruising around, checking it out before I make my way up to Alabama. Run fast and don't stop at the end. You can be everything you want.